Million smokers are to be encouraged to give up the habit by swapping cigarettes for vapes. Uh, Emma has more on this with us. Hi, Emma. Good morning. Although we don't know at this stage what vapes might do long term. No, that is absolutely clear, although the evidence is starting to emerge uh, that there are concerns with the immune cells in the lungs. So that is what the scientists will be looking at, the long-term impact. But for now, this is about trying to get people stopping smoking. Uh, the plan is smoke-free in England by 2030. That means less than 5% of people smoking, and the current figures show that around 13% are. So there is a significant way to go. So this plan, though, catchy title, Swap to Stop, uh, it will uh, mean that nearly one in five smokers, around a million, will be given these vaping starter kits and behavioural support to try and uh, come off the cigarettes. And there'll also be incentives for pregnant women, vouchers worth up to £400 and a real push as well to stop the illegal sale of uh, vapes to children. We know that around one in 10 secondary pupils uh, do use vapes. This is all being announced today by the health minister, Neil O'Brien, and health campaigners broadly welcoming this, but saying that uh, it's nowhere near sufficient. So maybe step in the right direction, but some way to go. Indeed, so it's my um, pet hate smoking. It really, really, really frustrates me. If you've got a 50-50 chance of dying if you're smoking, why do you smoke? Seems if a health decision, doesn't Yeah, it? if you're pregnant, why would you smoke? I mean, it's not rocket science, is it? Anyway, off my high horse, my hair's blowing <laughs> in the wind. First thing, thanks a lot. See you later.